circumpolar Jupiter at the 90 uh, latitude south and 141 uh, longitude east circumpolar this is uh, during the March equinox how do we uh, measure that? How do we uh, measure this angle on the ball earth from this location? We use uh, tools like this. It's an uh, azimuth uh, altitude uh, demonstrator. It uh, don't tell us uh, the latitude and longitude you are, uh, are on because it don't uh, work like that. We measure uh, angles from the sun, moon and stars from a flat level horizontal plane for its location. So let's see the direction of uh, Jupiter. At uh, 12 o'clock the direction was uh, 139 southeast. And you cannot do uh, southeast but you must uh, do 139. And it had an altitude of uh, 2269. That's about here. This star uh, represents uh, Jupiter. Let's move to the 40 longitude south on the same uh, longitude. And uh, they share uh, the same uh, time zone. It is uh, plus 9 hours. And uh, the direction of Jupiter at 12 o'clock was uh, 119.45. And the altitude was uh, 1.1. So that would be uh, here for this location. A tiny star represents Jupiter. Let's move to the equator on the same uh, longitude line at the same uh, time, and the direction is uh, 113, and the altitude is uh, almost 10. That would be uh, around here for the equator. Let's move to the 40 uh, latitude north on the same uh, longitude at the same time. This also shares uh, the same uh, time zone along this uh, whole uh, on the 40 uh, first uh, longitude. So the direction is uh, 113 and the altitude is uh, minus uh, 7. Uh, that would be uh, this direction and this uh, altitude. Let's move to the 90 degree uh, north on the North Pole at 12 o'clock. The direction is uh, 100 and the altitude is uh, minus uh, 22. That would be around here. Here we can uh, see uh, Jupiter on this uh, spot. Let's uh, combine it. The 
these are uh, all the locations with uh, Jupiter we just checked how do we uh, combine this together notice this why uh, this uh, Jupiter at the uh, equator is uh, higher uh, than in the 40 uh, latitude south it should be lower according uh, to the globe model this works for each location otherwise uh, our uh, ups would be uh, shit but there is no uh, way uh, to triangulate not uh, like this How do we uh, triangulate this? This is how it looks like. If we use a, a top view on the globe, this is the 141 uh, longitude. So all the observations uh, are done uh, on this whole uh, longitude line from north to south. And then uh, we end up uh, with those uh, angles let me zoom in a bit here uh, I place the angles on the globe the top view globe and uh, we can uh, rule out uh, altitude because uh, you cannot uh, apply altitude on top views so we can uh, rule out uh, altitude Jupiter's angle for the 19th uh, latitude north was at 12 o'clock it had an azimuth of 100 uh, east that would be uh, along this line and on the equator it was 113 at 12 o'clock 113 And uh, the 40 latitude uh, north at about the same uh, angle. So these uh, two point in the same uh, direction. 40 latitude north and the equator. Now the 40 latitude south. 40 latitude south had an uh, azimuth of 119 at 12 o'clock. 119. And the 90 latitude south had an azimuth of 139 at 12 o'clock. 139. So none of these uh, triangulate. How do you place these along the same longitude line? If you do that, becomes a, a mess it's impossible and science don't tell us uh, how to do that you cannot uh, apply uh, altitude to a globe you can uh, apply uh, altitude to uh, one of these on a flat level horizontal plane Altitude is a wrong term for this. If I see a kite in front of the sun, it don't tell me the altitude. It tells me the angle, the vertical azimuth. The angle has nothing to do with some retard altitude. 
Suns, Moons and Stars have Apache and Perici, Kites and Planes and Birds use Altitude. Vertical Azimuth would be a better word. And this is how it looks like on the fold open globe. These are the directions. Same dress, but a little bit different. Anyone uh, that can uh, model up the sky for us and uh, make it work so we can uh, triangulate it? It's all garbage. <laughs> 